What should we do? Instruction, what should we do in here? Are we supposed to? Oh my god, this is very confusing. Damn. So little. <laughs> so bad. Uh, oh, the cucumber is up there. There's a hidden object inside hidden object. Wow. Mind blown? <laughs> elephant, elephant, elephant everywhere. Ah, here you are. 
half in your now spoon that you is that you I'm pretty sure it's right what A small one ah <laughs> We make something wrong in there, but there's no reason. Tumble. What? Lock. The spare key should be in the catch in the case of emergency. So whoa. Whoa. Already get that? Oh, sorry, I did not pay attention. <laughs> Umbrella. Oh no, we got the bird first. Dun, dun, dun. And the glue. Whoa! So dark with the electricity off I need to find a way to illuminate the room I think there were candles somewhere Abigail, 
Thank goodness. I'm so happy you have found the key. Are you wanted? Where's my father? I'm fine, my lady. I suppose to tell what people have your father. They were the one who locked me here when I tried to defend the house. I'm not the man I once was, Lady Abigail. Mere mortal I still could have handled, but since you are here, you know the truth of the situation. Talbot has helped at the gates, which means the undead are now his to command. They need a Sir Aaron to remove the last shield, which means they will keep him alive until he gives them the key to spell. Then we can still save him. Richard, take me to the secret entrance to the catacombs beneath the estate. It's time for Adler to wake from his dream. He's the perfect weapon, naturally. The way to his tomb is secured by many degrees of protection, put up by none other than your own grandfather. Then we had better hurry. like some kind of a demon that's pretty interesting oh wait oh glasses i almost thought uh richard it's dead it's really a relief that he's still alive What are they mean with Adelar? Uh Oh here. And a bottle and uh, and uh, microscope? Where's oh here sun hmm? <coughs> Sorry, I'm I'm not really sound very excited with this game. Uh, I just realized that that I'm not maybe sound very excited because this music giving me uh, it's totally trigger my masochist side, and that's not really a good sign. <sighs> Dang. Okay, we need two more. Two more. Kendall, where are you? Ah. Hey. <laughs> hidden object inside of hidden object. I should say. This kind of a gameplay is really clever and I think this is my first time encounter this type of a gameplay. Three hidden objects in one place along with puzzle and then there's hidden object inside hidden object. Wow. supposed to move this book but uh, we have to remember to not putting uh, the you know 
the bigger book and on the top of the smaller book. Am I right? Ah, I'm right. We suddenly move out. <laughs> oh, okay. No. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Wall clock. You? Whoever made this music, I give you standing ovation. It's been a long time I did not listen this type of music. For some reason, whenever I listen this music, uh, my <laughs> my friends said creepy music, but I call it like classic beauty. It's the instrumental is. Giving me mood to write horror story. Maybe after this I will write some story again. But right now let's finish this first. Uh, what? Frame. Uh, frame this up. Where should we go first? Oh. What about you? <gasps> oh. Okay. Um. Wait. Okay, I think I will uh, stop in here right now because yeah, it's very very long and yep. <sighs> I need to recover myself <laughs> from this music effect. So yeah, I'll see you in the next chapter, guys. Bye.